Hello Monday for World Economic News. All I've got for you is the US unemployment situation. And the Joker chart is the principal chart, the one that's um, dotted down the middle and has the recession, recessions flowing in different coloured string to the website to see the slideshow of them. And I've got also from Calculated Risk, the maker of the Joker chart, the old Joker chart, where it wasn't split down the middle, how he used to have it in the old days, where all the recessions are zeroed out on one side and they all flow and all other recessions uh, are already up and through the zero by now but obviously the red line's still wandering down here but that's actually the the chart i prefer the old joker chart chart number two there u.s unemployment level part-time for economic reasons the chart speaks for itself as does unemployed for over 26 weeks uh, the summary from Calculated Risk, um, who is the person I think is the go-to for sensible um, commentary on unemployment there. The underlying details of the unemployment report were mixed. The positive included the 151,000 payroll jobs added, the upward revisions to August and September, a slight uptick in hours worked, and average hourly earnings, very slight, eh? and slight decline in part-time workers, and a slight, slight decline in the US, the, the U6 unemployment. The negatives include the declines in the employment to population ratio, which is important, and the partici participation rate, the increase in workers unemployed for over 26 weeks, and the unemployment rate is still flat at a very high level. This report was clearly an improvement from the previous four months, but this was still a fairly soft report. And I'll just throw on the back end of that that QE2 is going to do absolutely nothing to help. Um, unemployment is now a uh, entrenched fact of life in the United States and will become increasingly unacceptable or maybe acceptable who knows have a good week bye